Brandon. Hi, you, Dave. <laughs> hi, buddy. You grew up in Erie, yes? Yes, I did. What, I, at what point did you leave? So yeah, I grew up in Erie. I grew up over on the uh, on the west side of Erie. Um, my family's been here for a few generations before that. And uh, when I turned 18, I moved away, moved out to Colorado. Went to school out there, uh, began my career out there, and met my wife out there. And maybe about four years ago, we moved back to Erie. And uh, Wait a minute, in between, didn't you go somewhere else? I did, yes. We, uh, my, my wife and I were together, and uh, the, the decision was, should we have kids now, or should we move to South America now? And the choice was to move to South America first. Uh, we went down, intended to be there one year, ended up being there two years in uh, Santiago, Chile. Wow, really great town. That whole continent is, is, a, is a wonderful place to visit. Why Chile? Why Chile? Yeah. I mean, well, they're Latin down there. They speak uh -huh. Spanish. Um, they have mountains. They have ocean. And you, you both, you and your wife, speak Spanish? Well, well we do now. Uh, when we got there, there was not much Spanish to be spoken. We used uh, Google Translate and wrote ourselves some notes in terms of what we thought we needed at the grocery store and went to the grocery store with our Google Translate notebook. Wow. Um, but yeah, after after a year or two, we, we got pretty good. Made some really nice friends down there. and. Uh, and it's our Latin home. <laughs> were you working there? Yep, we were teachers down there. We, we ran a language school. My wife ran the, uh, the elementary program for kids, and I worked with uh, corporate clients, guys in big glass towers who work internationally and needed uh, English language. Cool. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> so. so what brought you back? Uh, well, I'm from Erie. My family's from Erie. Mm -hmm. uh, we love Erie. I, I grew up here. I, I, I wanted to raise my family here. My wife likes it here, and she's made a home of it over the past four years since we moved back. And uh, yeah, we're happy to be here. And you have two kids now. I do. My daughter Claire, her birthday is actually next week. She'll turn four. And, and my son uh, Jack is one year old. Cool. Mm -hmm. How'd you end up with Dickies? Yeah, so welcome to Dickies Barbecue Pit. Thank this you. Is, uh, <laughs> this is my baby. Uh, we opened Dickies three years ago. And uh, my family, my parents have a, a history in the restaurant business. Um, they, they did pizza. And as a family, we look to kind of branch out, diversify. And um, this brand, this, this food concept, everything here made sense to us. So we went ahead and uh, built a Dickie's Barbecue Pit here in Erie. You're very unique in your support of live music. What happened? Well, um, on Thursday nights, we have the MVP band here hosted by yours truly, uh, Dave Van Amberg. Uh, he's the V of the MVP. He's joined with Phil Popotnick, the P, and Dale McBriar, the M of MVP, is my dad. And uh, the three of you guys were actually here for our soft open um, oh, yes. three years ago yesterday. Yep. Three years ago yesterday, you were here playing live music for our soft open. And we've had the MVP band here on Thursday nights pretty much since then. And uh, working with you, working with my dad, um, both of you guys are passionate about music. Um, I've been converted. I never thought I would have live music in my restaurant, but um, it's turned out to be a really good idea here, Dave. Thank you. Why? Well, um, together we've created a really cool idea. Um, to complement the MVP band on the Tuesday nights, we do our, our live music series. And from the beginning, our thought was always, how can we... How can we be inclusive? How can we involve um, you know, our patrons in the music experience? And, and um, I think we've done a great job with all four of our, our um, Live Music Tuesdays. And I'm proud of them. I tell people about them. I come here myself to be entertained by them, bring my friends. Um, I love it. Live cool. Music. Cool. And now you're expanding into Saturdays? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um, so on Saturdays, how it started is um, the second Tuesday of every month is our, uh, our Disney sing-along, which has been a slam dunk. Um, our, our young performer, Brooke, comes in dressed as a princess, plays all, all the live uh, Disney tunes. And that has been um, by far our most successful and best idea in terms of bringing people in and enjoying our food and our live music. So um, why not bring her back a second time? And now she's our fourth Saturday of every month. We have her here live uh, doing her Disney sing-along again. So we doubled down on what we knew was a good idea. Right. Um, looking to expand that now. Um, 
starting starting this month, we're going to start bringing in the V Band, again hosted by Dave Van Amberg. <laughs> A little bit bigger than his MVP group, which is only three. Uh, v Band has what, Dave? Four. Four guys in yeah. it. Okay. Unless your dad's in town, he then might it might have five. Yeah. <laughs> who's who's in the? Tell me about the V Band. Okay. What are the guys in it's that? It's myself and Phil Popotnik. Okay. You know, we're, we are the core in in terms of our musical partnership, and David Blates on bass, probably the most requested, sought after bass player in this entire region. Okay. I mean, he's. Such a professional, yeah. And Ricky Hopkins on drums, and Ricky is just amazing. Uh, one of the most dynamic drummers, and he he's got, always has this big grin on his face because it doesn't matter what kind of song we call, he loves it. He just loves yeah, it. Yeah, he loves it. Good. And so they're they're, they're just a, a phenomenal group to you know to play with. The, the musical interaction is wonderful. Um, Good. So, so yeah, so starting this month, we'll have the V-Band. And down the road, who knows? Um, I mean, you know, that would bring us to 10 nights of live music at Dickie's Barbecue every month. That's, right. that's one of the three days we have live music here. And um, it's start, our success is starting to breed success. I, I hope we can develop into a, a full lineup of, of Saturday nights uh, here at Dickie's, you know, later this summer, even early fall. Cool. And now you're talking about a festival. Yeah, so uh, we're here in the Liberty Plaza, and we're happy to be here. We ha we're in a great spot for traffic, and we have a great parking lot in front of our place that could um, be a great home for a tent for a weekend to host uh, Dickie's Absolutely. Festival, celebrate barbecue, celebrate music, everything we do here. Right, and being almost on the corner of three streets, three major thoroughfares in Erie, you're probably somewhere above 30 to 40,000 cars a day going by here. Yeah, you yeah. would think. Yeah. And then something else interesting about uh, this particular location is if you were to look at a Google map mm -hmm. and you were to put your finger on the center of Erie, the actual center, like where it spreads from all directions, I really think we are at the center of Erie. Uh, yeah. We are 15, 20 minutes from, from everywhere from Harbor Creek, from Fairview, from Mill Creek, from Summit. I mean, everybody's 20 minutes away or less. So we're, we're the center here. Cool. This is ground zero for, for Erie PA. So what are you thinking of doing for this festival? Well, again, it's to celebrate barbecue and celebrate music. Um, we'll be showcasing our food. We'll be serving it outside under the tent. Um, we hope to bring in all our performers for the, the Tuesday Night Live series, as well as MVP, the V Band. Um, good friend of yours, Matty Bowen of the Dirty Pickles. I hope he's able to uh, make an appearance at our festival. And again, it's designed to uh, feed Erie and entertain Erie. That's why we're doing it. Um, our, our restaurant's successful because we try to do both of those. And You know, Erie, I feel like people in Erie are always looking for something to do, something fun to do, something to take their family to. Um, and that's what we're going to do with this festival. So you're doing a lot of catering these days. Oh yeah, catering, um, catering is 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 the lifeblood of, of what we do here at Dickies. How, how far out do you go? Oh man, we are doing weddings as far out as like the Peak and Peak Ski Resort. Um, we've done a wedding down in Meadville before, over in Ohio. Uh, but but most of our caterings are smaller than a full service wedding. Mm -hmm. um, we usually do business lunches for you know twenty to twenty five people. Right. Uh, there are some there are some plastics factories out um, on the west side, kind of out near Asbury Road. Um, we deliver out there a lot, um, and then the other factories we deliver to are out there on Buffalo Road. So we and everywhere in between. So we're uh, we have our catering van out running, <laughs> ideally every day, almost every day. And, and probably the the newest trend in Erie food certainly for you guys, is the delivery services. Sure, yeah. So you're working with all three now? Wow, yeah, and you know, so delivery, the, the delivery started in Erie and uh, in about November of 2018. And who was in first, Grubhub? Grubhub was first, and then Uber Eats and DoorDash were only weeks behind, maybe a month behind. So they all launched about the same time. And um, I think they have all been quite successful here in town. Uh, and we use all three. We find the drivers to be on time, seem like good people. Uh, we get pretty minimal complaints considering the extra moving parts to get food from our kitchen to your to your plate. 
Um, so I think it's a system that's working great. A small restaurant like this, we can't support our own delivery driver and our own service like that. So uh, I'm really happy they're in town. They're, they're a big help oh. to us. Yeah. So all you have to do is figure out how to deliver the, the live music. Yeah, maybe we could put in like a mixtape <laughs> with every order. Well, you've got Tom Weber doing the live video streams. Yeah. Pretty. Uh, that's been happening, what, about mo once a month or so now? Yeah, Tom's been coming by, working on his product, and I think he's, he's really started to develop a pretty high quality, um, I think it's a Facebook-based live streaming service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, he's got all the bells and whistles. He's got nice cameras, recording equipment, um, a pretty powerful laptop with software I don't understand to help him <laughs> get it all going. And it's uh, certainly better than the uh, Facebook Live videos I shoot on my, my little phone right here. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, my friend. Yeah. Thank you.